and happy Tuesday. It is Miss Hodge here and today we are going to do what we did last Tuesday. We are going to do some sight words and then we're going to do some sentences and then you are going to do a sentence on your own. So now would be a good time to pause the video, go grab you a piece of paper and a pencil. So remember just like last week I'm going to say the word and then you are going to say the word. Say them nice and loud okay. Here's the first word. Also very. Remember, they stick together. Two. And this is not the number two. This is like, I want ice cream too. Now, this is the number. Very good. Two. Two. They look very different. Put. Put. Try. Try. My, my, by, by, why, why, sticking together. Oh my, that does not want to come out. Goodness. Here, here, there, there, where. Where, when, when, what, what, who, who, are, are, where, where, does, does, do, do, have, have. Very nice, friends. You did such an amazing job. So the first sentence that we are going to write today is another cave is down by the lake. So we're going to do that one today. Another cave is down by the lake. So help me remember what is the first thing that we do to our sentence? Capitalize. Very nice. So another that is not a word that you can tap out. So what is it called? Very nice. It is a sight word. So I'm going to spell that on here for you. If you do not know how to spell it, please make sure that you are paying attention because hint, hint, it's going to be in your sentence that you write on your own here in just a minute. Let me make sure that line is really showing up right there. Another... Another cave. Help me sound that out. Ready? K A V. Okay, so let's start with the first sound. Ready? K C A. You're right. That is the long vowel sound. So what is what does that mean for the end? Sneaky E. Very nice. K A V. V. Very good. And we're going to put what on the end? E. And I'm going to go ahead and cross it out because it is silent. Another cave is. Very nice. And that is a sight word. Can you tell me how to spell it? Very nice. I-S. Is. And then down. D-O-W-N. So what would you think that probably is? A sight word. There's going to be a lot of sight words when you are reading and writing. So it is so, so important to remember to practice your sight words, okay? Another cave is down by B. And that would be an I if you put sounded it out. But we know that you can't because by is also a what? Sight word. Another cave is down by the which is also another sight word. The, and let's do the last word, lake. Let's tap it together. O, A, oh, I hear a long vowel sound. So as that us goes at the end, silent E, O, A, K. And then I'm gonna put a silent E on the end. So now that is our sentence. Another cave is down by the lake. Now we have to figure out what goes at the end. Punctuation. 
Another cave is down by the lake. What are we going to put? Period, exclamation, question, period. Very nice. Now, just to show you how important sight words are, I want us to go back together and circle all of the sight words that are in the sentence. Ready? First word is a sight word. Another. Cave was a typable word. Is is a sight word. Down is a sight word. By is a sight word. And the is a sight word. There's only two words in this sentence that are not sight words. So again, remember, your teacher has probably given you some kind of sight word booklet or sight word paper or something to practice at home for sight words. So make sure you're practicing those. Okay, friends? All right, here is your sentence that I want you to write. Another bird is down by the lake. Another bird is down by the lake. I can't wait to see your sentence. Bye, friends.